Good morning and welcome to the back row. I am Alvaro Meana and I bring you a new format for talks about cinema. Those of you who know the website I am talking about is our blog called The Back Row, which now has a new podcast. The Back Row is the English version of my Spanish movie blog, La Butaca del Fondo, so now you can enjoy articles, reviews, and podcasts in both languages. Written tends to have a more formal meaning, while the audio format is better suited to an informal tone of conversation, and that's what I'm pretending, simply to have a good time chatting about movies. And that's why I open the debate, I bring you today's topic, following this question. Is Spanish fiction at the best moment in its history? Fiction referring to everything audiovisual like series, movies, etc. I have an answer to this question based on my opinion, obviously. And yes, I believe that Spanish fiction is at the best moment in its history. First of all, this is reflected by the series. Spain is a synonym of quality in series, where we stand out in the dramatic genre. It's true that there are good comedies, but in drama we have the most interesting products. The clearest examples are Elite or Money Heist, drama shows with a teenager dam that have had repercussions worldwide. Without a doubt, I believe that there haven't been Spanish series in the last... 10 years that have had such an impact as these. Not to speak simply of those in the streaming service, we have others such as Unauthorized Living on free to air TV. It seems complicated to me in the free to air TV because it doesn't depend on herself. It also depends on other audio factors that, despite aiming high, as they do not have a good reception in the first episode, everything goes to hell. In this case, the show endured as one of the most successful of the year. However, going back to the teenager phenomenon, Spain has managed to position itself very well in the market with fiction. That is to say, it was successful in Netflix, the great audiovisual giant today. They chose the platform as a point of support to create daring and quality projects. It is true that some may think that we have already seen thousands of shows of teenagers, but here they made their own 13 reasons why, and they got a very good move. On the other hand, we could define Money Heist as a much darker Ocean's Eleven. Leaving aside the shows, we also have the movies. This is where it was a great evolution where we have dispensed with absurd plots that were forgotten to bring a much more reflective and quality cinema. With this, I don't mean that we only do quality in the drama. <laughs> no, no. Also in the rest of genres, which we will talk about, such as comedy or horror. For me, one of the great current directors who have raised Spain to another level in cinema is Juan Antonio Bayona. A Monster Calls was a stroke of originality and, why not to say it, a perfectly structured work. However, this is not a surprise, because years before he brought us The Impossible with Iwan McGregor and Michelle Williams. In both films, he made us emotional and reflect through a plot around the family and the adversities they have to overcome. Without a doubt, a movie that tears your soul, but you get up clapping from the seat in the credits. Bayona is a cinematographic model that other Spanish filmmakers have followed in their respective genres. And that's the best! That good cinema is like a rumor that spreads from one to another. Thanks to these kind of directors, we live a great time. 
One of them is Paco Plaza, who suddenly has taken over the Spanish horror genre with a terrifying daily story like Veronica in Navalleca's neighborhood. Also, one of the pioneers of comedy movies is Javier Fesser, who has been in this business for many years, but he knew how to reinvest himself with the uh, endearing champions who made us laugh and get excited in the theater. Probably one of the ones that has been invested the most effort of all those we have mentioned since a producer came to reject the project for the cast, which finally conquered our hearts. I could go on saying names of directors and films, but this is the reality. We have a country where fiction with a fort and passion are still alive and want to come to light. Hollywood realized this, and that's why Bayona got into the dinosaurs and Almodovar was nominated for Pain and Glory at the Oscars. I don't want to hear someone saying that Spain only produced silly and absurd comedies, because it is not true. We've always been there, but now we are knocking on the door louder than ever. Don't forget. So that's my opinion, but I also want to know yours, so you can leave your comments below and impressions to chat about all this. If you like the episode, you can listen more like this on my YouTube channel, Alvaro Meana, or Spotify, The Back Row. For more content like reviews, articles, go and check our blog, www.thebackrowblog.com. Now I have to go, but... Remember, long live the cinema. <laughs>